Hey, this is Tyler with Theater Design Company. Today we're going to install a Samsung 32-inch frame TV in our office space for our demo room. Please take a look. Okay, so what I've got here, you can probably see some of this in the time lapse, but I have unboxed our Samsung 32-inch frame TV and I've laid out all the corresponding parts and accessories that come with it, including a Ubiquiti USW 5-port switch that is not included from Samsung. We include it in most of our jobs for a, a neat little handy switch to put behind displays. And then you can see a couple things we've done here. Uh, number one thing we've done is we've marked the top of the table with blue tape so we just flat out can't mess up and, and run the display too low. And we've eyeballed that by sitting at the uh, desk and kind of looking up and getting our angle where we want for viewing. The second piece of blue tape up is actually where we're going to put a Logitech meetup or some sort of uh, zoom type meeting room camera. And then the third piece of tape up is what we're hoping for or shooting for for the bottom of our TV um, height. And then you can see we have our strong 8x14 enclosure. And what that houses is it's got a piece of conduit we had to notch on the right hand side. It's got the uh, rubber uh, oval there that can do a pass through plate down to the Logitech meetup and then a duplex outlet and then what we've done here is uh, utilize this location to run the network locations on this wall so printer and the two network jack locations down there all run off the local switch and then in our ubiquity unify software we'll label this office switch for easy uh, troubleshooting and just ease of use um, so what I've got here is uh, Two things I always do is I lay everything out. Um, generally, I lay it out on a moving blanket, but what we've got here is a, a nice brand new table that we know is clean with no screws or hardware on it. And then these are the mounting brackets for the Samsung frame. These mount to the TV. The only thing that we're adding here, you'd have to get from a hardware store, is two little washers, and that's to get this out so that when the frame TV will sit flush past our strong enclosure which comes out about an eighth of an inch and we have two just a hair bit over sixteenth of an inch washers um, so keep watching the time lapse and we'll go from there on the rest of it and pretty quick here you'll see a Samsung frame TV installed okay I found one other thing that would be nice to show you guys so the template here it's got a left and a right and another left and right. This here is for vertical mode or portrait mode. And then we have our landscape mode, which is how we're doing ours. And this will get mounted to the wall like this. And this is the top of the TV. This is where the bracket lands. And as you push the TV up, it all comes into place there. So be careful on this measurement. This is the one that you want for where your TV mounts. So you gotta be very careful on that. Otherwise, when you do that and slide the TV on, you're gonna be off. So be careful on that. And the only tool we've used so far is just a small little Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so a couple other notes on this. See, we've got our TV template all marked up. We've taken and marked a couple holes right where our drill bit will go. There's no studs because it's 24 inch from here to there. Our studs are 16 inch on center. So it'd be nice if Samsung figured that out. And again, this is where the TV starts. This is where the TV lands. And we've moved our tape up. We're about a half an inch off. So we're up now a half an inch. We've got a box here to catch our drill hole dust and we're going to start working on uh, getting our brackets up and then we'll uh, keep going ahead here. Okay, so got our one connect box in there our switch we used 
a little bit of double back, but not crazy because the power to get this to fit in here, you got the power cord and you got the switch, but we do have some USB ports over here we may end up using, and we will be using at least one of those HDMI ports. Be careful on the one connect cable here, and then we have to screw our brackets in. We'll end up leveling these and put our cover on, and we are have our TV installed, and we'll do a little bit of setup. Okay, I'll just do a couple quick seconds here in the video, but as you can see here, our brackets are bolted down. We've checked our level, um, we've checked center, and we've got our one connect cable hanging out, ready to install the TV. Always recommended for two, two guys, two gals to install a TV. Um, this one I'm gonna do myself since it's my demo room. If I break the TV, I'll buy another one. Okay, so we've got our display set up. It's as level as we can get it in a 120 plus year old home where the ceilings aren't level. But uh, as you can see, this is probably where someone's head would be at, right in here, if you're looking at the display. So we're gonna have a chair, basically a chair here, chair there, and a chair over here. So we can get three people in here for meetings. Again, we got some construction going over there with our acoustic wall. But as you can see, it's a super clean install. A little quarter inch or eight, excuse me eighth inch spacers worked out perfect signals great and it does look to be a little off level the nice thing about this with those spacers you just lift it you can just pull it right into place so super easy to level out double check the level now seems to be better and that will conclude the video here